Hi everyone, I've been running Windows 8, the RTM version, downloaded off Microsoft's partner site for a number of weeks now, and I want to show you some of the things that I found. I love some stuff about Windows 8. I love the speed of it, it's super fast. I love the storage spaces, I love the data de deduplication, I love the auto mounting of ISO images, I love the fact that it hides drives that are not in a ready state so that you can't click on them accidentally. But what I can't stand is by default when you load videos, pictures, PDFs, they load in the Metro app. And the Metro app is orders of magnitude slower than the normal app. And it makes all of Windows seem like it's going on a crawl. So let me show you what it looks like here. If I'm going to open up this rumble in the air-conditioned auditorium, this is the debate between John Stewart and Bill O'Reilly. It's 1.5 gigs. You can see in my task manager here I've got nothing going except for notepad. And I'm going to quickly launch this thing. When I launch it, I'm going to press the start button over here on my stopwatch, and you can see how long it takes to load in Windows Media Player. This is an MP4 file, and here we go. Actually, before I could even get there, this thing is loaded and it's playing in Windows Media Player. That's kind of what you'd come to expect. It's fast, everything is very, very snappy, and it's, e it's even snappier than 7 in Windows 8. Now, if I decide to load it in the Metro app, look what happens. I'm going to go ahead and play, I'm going to hit start, and there's my stopwatch going, where's my video? And why is it that this is the default action? Every time I load a video on Windows, it does this unless I change it. So there we go. I was a little late on the stop, but it was about 10 seconds for that video to load, which is absolute madness. Here's another shot at it. This here is Microsoft's own video. This is Anders bring the uh, the brilliant C Sharp inventor, and he's uh, he's introducing TypeScript here, Microsoft's new typed JavaScript. And this video is 125 megs. It's a WMV, so I'm going to load it first in Windows Media Player. Hi everyone. And again, before I'm I can even. Before I can even get over there to hit start on my stopwatch, it's playing. But now let's try the Metro app. I'm just going to double click this. And again, why am I waiting here? What is Metro doing that's taking so long? As soon as it starts up here, I'll press stop. Hi everyone. I'm and again, Halsberg, it's about a 10 minute wait just to see that go. And I'm here to talk about a new project of ours called Type. So that is my first Windows 8 video. I am thoroughly unimpressed with the Metro style apps. They're incredibly sluggish. I have no idea why, but if you search around for slow and Metro apps, you'll get tons of hits. Everyone's asking the same questions. I don't know what the answer is. So uh, I'll post more on Windows 8. Out of the box, I love a lot of the stuff about it. It's fast, it's quick, but there are some things that are really slow and some things that are poorly designed. That's one of the slow things. I'll get to you others in another video.